Good morning everybody. I am Rio with Art Furniture Woodwork and we are here working on a little vanity stool for this vanity. We're going to try and paint this and um, see how it turns out and worst case scenario I've got to order new fabric and make new cushions for it. So, so what I'm going to do first is on the back it has this um, this little piping around and that's covering the screws that are holding this this piece on this this back piece so we're going to take that off because we wouldn't reuse that that easy and then we're just going to undo the screws and take this piece off oh somebody stripped that one out Oh, that did it. Had to go in from a different angle. Okay, good, good, good. And that piece will just pop right out now. And we've got it out. We're gonna do the same thing to the very bottom. The first thing we're gonna do is give this a good thorough cleaning. Um, it's got dirt and um, lint fibers down in there so we want to be sure we we give that a good clean a good wash now i'll just give it a little rinse and now we'll just have to let these dry they don't have to be completely 100 percent dry but they're pretty wet right now so we're gonna let them dry a bit and then we'll go to painting. Okay, let's talk about making chalk paint. All right, this is the paint that I used for this vanity. And I mixed this color myself, a custom color. And then I turned that custom color into a chalk paint. And the way that I did that is I Order the calcium carbonate off of Amazon and you can find the link in the description down below and once you've got your color all you've got to do is mix four tablespoons of this into eight ounces of paint and then about two tablespoons of water and mix it up and what I use to mix because your arm will get worn slap out is this and I put it on my drill and I have one of these to attach it to my drill but in a regular drill it would just go in but I can't get that off anymore because it's kind of seized. You just put that on your drill and mix very, mix it slowly um, otherwise and be sure to hold the cup. Trust me, be sure to hold the cup otherwise it'll be bad paint everywhere trust me just i don't have the video but trust me mix really well just keep mixing until all of that calcium carbonate is mixed into your paint and you're good to go and then what i did is i took that same paint and i diluted it 50 50 water to paint and that's how i got my paint to do my cushions now the back is dried pretty good so now we're just going to start brushing that on and what you're really doing you want to do nice thin coats because what you're really doing is dyeing the fabric um, but you also want to be sure that if you've got a tufted fabric like this that you kind of move those tufts so you can get down in those um, in between the the fabric. Oh, this is going to die nicely, I think. Don't worry, when this dries, it will it will be soft and supple. Um cuz you're going to sand in between in between each coat. Be sure that you keep your fabric moist, not wet. You don't want it soppy wet. You just want it moist. And just keep working the paint into the fabric. 
making sure that you get around all those little buttons if you've got a tufted one. Because what's happening is the pigments in the paint are just dyeing the textiles. Some people will want to wear gloves, but you can see how wet I've got the paint that it's not even really painting my hands. It's just more of a watery color at this point. And be sure that you use an old brush or a cheap chip brush like this because it's smushing it into this fabric is really going to kill any brushes. A lot of people will ask, you know, doesn't the paint come off when you sit on the chair? It does not. I did four dining chairs, used them myself for, oh, probably a year, and they looked fantastic. Um, even after that year, I sold them. I got new chairs, and um, they looked just as good the day that I sold them as they did the day that I did them. They were more of a, um, a flat fabric rather than a velvet type fabric. And they felt more like a soft leather. Um, so they were a bit different fabric, but still they turned out fantastic. And then we're just gonna do the same thing on the back since it gets seen through that chair just work that in doing thin coats you're not trying to do this all in one shot we're going to come back after this is dried tomorrow and do more coats and take a look at it i don't think it's going to take more than two on this so that's good news all right so we'll come back tomorrow and we'll do another coat but i think it's gonna it's gonna look pretty good Remember, this was the color before, and we're going for something more like this. Okay, I'm going to do this part, and I'll see you tomorrow, and we will do another coat. We've already got one coat of paint on these, and they feel quite rough right now, but we're going to fix that, and I'm going to show you how. What I have is a sanding sponge, and I order these off Amazon. This one is 100 grit, but you'll find the links for everything that I use in the description down below. So, um, and then we're just going to go through and sand it. Okay. You're basically just moving the nap of the fabric, and then it becomes nice and soft and let me see if you can hear the difference that's sanded and that's unsanded and this feels just like it did from factory now nice and soft okay feels good but you can tell it needs that second coat but it's looking good And if you're wondering whether the paint comes off on clothes, I mean, just look, I've been sanding this fabric and there's just a teeny tiny bit of color, but I've been sanding. And we're gonna do this the exact same way we did yesterday. We're just going to moisten the fabric really well. These things are so great. I love the continuous water bottles. They just, you just push the button, they just continue to spray. Makes it so much easier on your wrists. And just start putting your paint on, opening up those tufts real good. And again, I watered it down about 50-50 paint to water. 
and we have the chair that goes with the vanity that um, we painted and waxed and so forth. And what I've done is I have taken the frame to that chair and just brought it into the paint room and I have just sprayed it. Um, I've used the Rust-Oleum um, paint, Ultra Cover paint and primer. Um, I did do some sanding on this chair just because it had some missing chipped paint. Just wanted to be sure that nothing else was going to chip off. And I've just sprayed it black. And I've got a few more little touch-ups to do like here. You can see where there's um, some light coverage here. But I'm just going to get that touched up and then let that dry. And this chair will be ready to go back together. Okay, so we've gotten the final coat of paint on these and again they need to be sanded down so we're going to get that done again we're going to do just like we did yesterday and we're going to sand the fabric down and it makes it soft again what do you think about the color so if you have a chair like this or one like this don't be afraid to change the color if you don't like it you can always change it and make it make it the color you want it. Just don't be afraid to try it. Do I think that painting a chair for money um, would be a good flip? I would have to say no. If we look at this color with the vanity, I think it's going to go absolutely brilliant. Looks amazing, doesn't it? All right, so get the chair ready to put back together. So we're just gonna place that back in the same position that it was in when we took it out. I'm just making sure that the lines are correct and that the screw holes are matching up just like they did when it came out so we've got that done and these are the same screws that came out of it so we'll just put them back and we're going to do the same thing on the bottom With the help of some clamps that might keep that in place long enough for me to get screws in it okay and our lines are nice good color matches nice now we've got to cover up these tabs and the screws that went in so i've ordered some trim as far as the glue you use i think that's kind of your personal preference um, i'm just using this gorilla glue um, e6000 would work i'm sure there are a multitude of different ones that would work and this will this goes on clear and will dry clear that's why I'm using it I'm gonna end up with it all over my fingers but it won't be the first or the last time that I've had glue all over my fingers so I'm okay with that okay so we have the chair all finished it looks fantastic and feels just just like it would have new um, there's no no possibility of transfer so you're safe and I just think that this is a great way to get your chair to match whatever piece of furniture do, you're doing whether it be a vanity or what have you but um, yeah so the piece is all done and I hope you enjoyed the video. 
If you found anything in this video helpful or you like the content, please remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the thumbs up button. Thank you for your support. If you haven't seen the video on this vanity, it was done last week. Please take a look at it. It's got some great techniques in it.